So you're thinking about moving to Anderson, South Carolina, and you want to know what are the top five things that you must know before moving here? Well, in this video, I'm going to unpack those top five things and just to make sure that those things are okay with you before you actually move here. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about Anderson, South Carolina and Greenville, South Carolina as a whole, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know everything about the upstate as a whole. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas to Home team. And whether you're moving a week from now or a year from now, make sure you reach out to us. All of my information is below and we'd love to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. Number one would definitely be the growth of the area. With growth, there comes congestion, there comes concern and frustration at times. If you're not a person who likes to deal with construction, or refurbishing uh, a building is around you or new building is being built up and then detours and traffic this is going to be a little frustrating to you at times also the locals they love their city they don't really love the fact that there's people moving here the city has grown year over year or the county itself has grown year over year by eight percent you do the math what that works out to be and over five to ten years you're like 50 to 75 percent increase of the people so if you're moving from a small area and you want to move to another small area because yours is growing this is still growing too there are more commercial permits being pulled in the last 24 months than there ever has been at all in the history of Anderson County. That's nuts. So when you're thinking about, I want to move somewhere like little small streets and no traffic lights, you may want to move on the outskirts of Anderson, maybe Belton, Honey Path. You're thinking like maybe um, Westminster or you're thinking of places like Williamson. Those places would be places that they're gonna be maybe 10 to 15 years from now before they have that revitalization. They are being revitalized, but not at the drastic level, say Anderson or Greenville County. Now Anderson isn't as fast growing as Greenville is, so it's still a better choice for you if you don't wanna have as much revitalization as Greenville's having. So growth is sometimes a concern to people, even though their property value will go up most times when the revitalization happens. Number two, the unprecedented fascination for the color orange. Orange is the color or one of the colors for Clemson Tigers. Clemson is not too far away, Clemson University, and they are the favorite in the local area. So you'll have people get in big arguments about it. Their closest rival is University of South Carolina and Columbia, South Carolina, which is only an hour and a half away. And you'll have people just getting knockout drag outs about this. Um, kind of like um, the big house, the Wolverines against the Buckeyes, Ohio state that rivalry is pretty crazy so is it here so there's something that has to go along with that a lot of times people think oh it's just a rivalry no big deal um, the college is there and so they don't think about the things that go along with it the college brings tons of jobs to our area so if you are going to live in Anderson, that's another option for you to think about for work. There are so many people who, that work at the college that don't want to live in Clemson, that live either Anderson, they live on the lake, they live in various places. So there's going to be traffic to get into Clemson. On game days, it's crazy. So this is an area you want to plan events around the Saturday games. If there's a home game on Saturday, you should not have your barbecue on Saturday unless you have big screen TVs outside. And I'm serious, friends. You will have a no-show party. <laughs> so it should be on non-game days for your parties and you should not want to go on Clemson Boulevard anywhere near the campus or in that direction maybe even 30 minutes and it's not just here easily goes through it on the 153 to get into it so make sure that you know that Clemson is a huge part of this community whether you work at it or not or that you like them or not you're going to deal with the fans, you're going to deal with uh, the traffic from it and all of that. So just understand Clemson is a huge part of here. And if you don't like orange, you're going to have to learn to like it a little bit. Number three, insects. Let me unpack them. It's not like your average insect. Originally from Maryland, I had no idea what a palmetto bug was. They are giant. You can get them treated. There are places like Board and Pest Control. There's uh, Pest Guard. There's a lot of companies that can treat your property to prevent from you having those. There's mosquitoes everywhere. 
okay? They're like little devils. They come out of nowhere to just like, ah, get you. Mosquito authority, also the ones I mentioned earlier, but mosquito authority can treat your entire yard. If you have furry friends, you wanna double check what your yard's being treated with to make sure that they're gonna be safe termites. So if you're from an area that doesn't have a lot of moisture, you probably have never even heard of a termite to even know what it is. So, and it's not just houses with crawl spaces that can get termites, basement houses, slab houses, they can have it. You can have it more than just at the base of your house. It can be inside of your garage. They create little tunnels. They look like red clay, um, like, like little like trails. You want to make sure that you get it inspected when you buy a house for termites as well as moisture it's called a CL 100 that it's very important to check in it's even a separate section of our contract so if you're doing normal due diligence you still want to most of the time have a CL 100 termite part separate as a contingent on your contract so if it does have termites there is not like everybody's gonna die over it I promise they can be treated bait stations put down, and a termite bond done. If you buy a home that doesn't have a termite bond, I highly suggest you put a termite bond on it. Again, the names I mentioned earlier, like board and pest control, they have, they do ours. Um, we have a basement home and we make sure that it's treated and it's checked and they do a great job. Highly suggest them. Um, there's other companies you can choose like Pest Guard, there's Gregory's, there's several companies you can choose from, but you definitely want to check out that so termites if you're not used to that palmetto bugs can be treated many of the things that are frustrating with insects can be treated but if you've never lived here and you don't know anything about it you want to double check about these things oh don't let me forget june bugs june bugs are disgusting those come out like you think in june and they're here in july they're green they're huge they look like a hornet but they can also be treated. While there's an ample amount of restaurants to choose from in Anderson, South Carolina, and while living here and visiting here, you're gonna have plenty of things to choose from to eat. If you're looking for a foodie town, Greenville would have more things. So number four is the fact that Anderson will have less uh, restaurants to go to than say Greenville area. Greenville's a faster growing area and is a larger area and is more of a thriving economy. If you're wanting to have a foodie place to live you're gonna to want to live in Greenville County per se over Anderson County and just understand living in Anderson County isn't that far from Greenville County they're like sisters they're right on the sides of each other so depending on where you live in Anderson County if you live in Powdersville you basically live right next to downtown you're 15 minutes away from downtown Greenville so you can still utilize all of that if you're in downtown or right on the outside of Anderson City proper you're only 30 to 35 minutes from Greenville so you can live here, have the cost of living here per se, and still be able to drive in and enjoy all of that in Greenville. So there's pros and cons with it, but it's definitely something you need to know before you live in Anderson. Number five, on the things that you may want to know before moving to Anderson, South Carolina, shopping would be one of them. Shopping is a thing that either you really love to do it or you don't love to do it. And there's two different types of people with shopping. They either like their basic needs to be met or they like luxury high-end stuff. So while Anderson has Target, it has Best Buy, and has things like that in the local shops, the Target's gonna be, say, smaller than another one. It's gonna be smaller Best Buy, it's gonna have less inventory. You may have to go to Greenville, you may have to go into Atlanta or, say, Columbia to get what you're looking for. Or they can have it shipped to your house, that's another option. So if you're looking for a larger high-end place, you're gonna go to Lenox Mall in Atlanta, or you're gonna go to Charlotte for South Park Mall, so like Kate Spade or Tory Burch and things like that, you're not going to get that in Anderson, South Carolina. But you are going to get the things that you need for the area by going to get the hunting stuff you need or the fishing stuff you need or all of the stuff you need for that type of lifestyle. Because remember, you're right next to the lake and you're right next to rural land for people to go hunting. So there's that kind of stuff. And the boutiques here are very pretty and they're very stylish and they're locally owned and it's very cute clothes. So there's a lot of things that you can do in Anderson. But if you're wanting high end stuff or a lot of supplies, to choose from, you're not going to get that in Anderson per se instead of like Charlotte or Atlanta. So there you have it. The top five
five things I think you have to know about before you move to Anderson, South Carolina. If you still want to move here or anywhere in the upstate, make sure you reach out to me, Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. All of my information is below and we'd love to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate.